Okay, so you need to get a bait up under a tree or a dock. Let's talk about some skippable baits right here on the Goon Lab. So the key for skipping baits is going to be one common thing. It's, it's a flat side. Uh, the flatter the side on a bait, it makes it easy to skip. Think about a rock, how easy it is to skip a flat rock versus a rock that is, you know, round like a baseball look a lot easier with with some flat sides so your larger creature baits uh those type of plastics they're going to be harder to skip you know a worm a long like a 10 inch worm like armando worm is going to be harder to skip those appendages are going to catch on the water when you're talking about hard baits a lot of hard baits are, are almost impossible to skip you're talking about a spinner bait a crank bait those type things are very difficult to skip but one hard bait that you can skip is a jig, and that's probably the most common, uh, very easy thing to skip. So let's talk about a jig. In particular, the Juicy Jig, which is our Guggen Squad casting style jig. And the reason that we choose the casting style over a flipping style or a, uh, well, a swim jig can also skip okay, but this little flat side on the bottom right here is going to make contact with the water and it's gonna make it really easy to skip that versus a, um, a flipping style jig that sort of wants to dive down into the water a little easier. So just, just having that little flat side uh, is perfect. And, and pairing a good plastic with that, that's not a long bulky trailer is going to be key. So when I'm trying to skip a jig, I like to cut down my trailers even more I'm gonna take off all the unnecessary appendages that might interfere with the distance on my skipping. So for Bandito Bug, for example, which has flatter sides than some of the other baits, I'll go ahead and take those top two appendages off and I'll just pinch the head of this and just make it a little more compact. So I'll take that off and then rig that on my jig. So that way I've got the head of the jig. I've also got this flat backside right here. And then I've taken the appendages off so I can get good distance with that. And the key is weight too. So this is a 5 16 3 8 is probably the best overall weight for skipping. You can still do it with half ounce, um, but it just gets a little more difficult as you go up. So that's a good balance of what you're trying to fish, you know, five, six feet of water or whatever, and the, the weight for skipping. And then your soft plastic side of things, any sort of, of worm that is straight, a straight tail style worm that doesn't have any appendages is going to skip really well. And the best way to skip these is on spinning gear. And especially with braid, if you can get away with like throwing 20 pound braid with a, a 12, pound fluorocarbon lever that that's going to skip magnificently you just leave that bail open and let that bait shoot up under there so your lunker log your slim shakes your your drag and drops um, you rig these up wacky rig style they're going to skip really well uh, with the lunker log you could rig it wacky or you could do weightless texas rig it's going to skip very well and then go into to your shad style bait like you're the dart the dart is gonna skip fantastically. Weightless Texas rig, you know, two flat sides on it. It's just gonna go go up under there a long ways. So whether you're fishing up under trees, up under docks, these are fantastic options for skipping. So if you wanna see more tips and tricks, you know what to do, subscribe right here to the Guggen Lab. I'll see you next time.